Near Chicago, it's going to have its residual effect right here at home. Quick peek at your planning forecast indicating 75 for today in sunshine, 79 for tomorrow in sunshine. A few more clouds on Sunday, but no problems with rain. We'll have the seven day forecast in our next weather segment. Till then, back to you, Marsha. Excellent. Thank you, Paul. Well, our next guest has penned a book recounting the life of his grandmother during the early 20s right here in Mississippi. Bernice Johnson is her name, and the memoir is all based on court transcripts and other documents found along the journey of writing. The book is called Reason to Fight, and the author Hiram Johnson is here from California. Uh, tell us about this, Reason to Fight. It is a personal, personal a documentation, a journey for you. Yeah, thank you for having me. Certainly. Um, initially, my goal was to find out who my paternal grandfather was, but uh, because he was born here in Jackson in 1928, uh, but he he, is, he was half white and mm -hmm. he never said anything about his dad. So it wasn't until the end of his life that he finally told me he didn't know his father, but that his mother uh, was involved in an incident here in Jackson in 1926 that sent her to prison, Parchment Farm. And you found all of this, you discovered this through court records and transcripts? That's correct. And your search for Bernice Johnson. Right. What drove you to, to this mission to, to write about the memoir? Well, um, I, I wanted to find now, out who, from my dad who yeah. his father was, just for personal reasons. Mm -hmm. And um, so I contacted the Mississippi Department of Archives and History, and I visited their library here in Jackson. And it was there that I discovered the transcripts. I also discovered the, uh, the uh, prison registrar uh, record of my grandmother with her name and physical descriptors. Uh, at Parchman and also a Jackson Daily News article that depicted the whole incident that occurred that night in Jackson in 1926. What did you learn? How did, do you, how was she wronged? Well, I believe she, after reviewing the documents, I believe any reasonable person would construe that she was acting in self-defense. And um, I also learned the exact dates of her incarceration and this would be the second injustice. After she was imprisoned, she was uh, assaulted in prison and became impregnated. And um, since women prisoners were not eligible for conjugal visits, uh, and the men and the women were separated by miles of acreage there on the, uh, mm -hmm. in the prison, my only conclusion was that she was assaulted by a white authority figure there at the, at the prison. Mm -hmm. uh, why the title, Reason to Fight? Well, um, thank you for mentioning it. The book is available on Amazon and Kindle and CreateSpace.com. And I titled it Reason to Fight because if she hadn't fought that night in 1926 for her family, and uh, then she wouldn't have been uh, imprisoned, she wouldn't have been assaulted, my dad wouldn't have been born, and I wouldn't be here talking to you today. Fascinating read. All right, we'll look for that. Mm -hmm. Thank you on Amazon and Kindle. Yes, and createspace.com. Excellent. Okay, thank you for being with us. You're Have a welcome. safe trip thank you back for to having me. Home in California. <laughs> All right, coming up, an international women's convention in Florida. Details coming up. But first, look at the midday numbers on Wall Street for you.